Okay, good morning. Uh, yeah, today I just asked to uh, give a short reflection before we uh, begin. And um, yeah, we all uh, we all have come to the monastery and, and to the uh, the teachings of the Buddha, uh, all all looking for uh, for happiness and and uh, wanting to learn how to overcome our uh, internal uh, suffering and. Uh, the, the stress and unhappiness that we feel in in different ways um, uh, throughout our uh, throughout our lives and um, the yeah the Buddha has has told us that the the happiness that we're looking for is um, yeah to be found on the other side of of all of our um, uh, yeah bad bad emotional habits our our defilements um, greed hatred and delusion. Um, so that uh, yeah, coming to the the monastery, then our, our practice is uh, learning how to uh, go against uh, these these habits of the mind that we've we've had for our, our whole lives: um, desire, anger, fear. Um, even for myself, thinking back, you know, as as far back as I can remember, when I was a young child, I can remember feeling. Um, all of these emotions and um, even you know from from that time having these emotions caused me caused me suffering so that we have um, a yeah, very long history with uh, with our defilements and there's a uh, there's a saying in English that uh, old habits die hard and the more I practice now uh, the more I kind of have an appreciation for that saying. Um, I think it's a really good summary of, uh, uh, of the practice of, of, of the Buddha um, because our, yeah, our oldest habits are, are, are habits that cause us suffering, desire, anger, fear, and uh, all of the other negative emotions that we experience. Um, and since they're so yeah, deeply rooted uh, in our minds, then they're extremely difficult to to overcome or, or even to to change at all. And I think when we when we first come to the monastery, at least uh, for myself, I you know I guess I kind of thought it would be uh, kind of easy or, or at least easier uh, than uh, kind of the reality is that it's um, yeah, it's definitely anything but easy. And sometimes we can. You know, spend years, you know, years trying to um, go against our our defilements, and then feel like we we're getting nowhere. Um, but the yeah, the Buddha, the Buddha gave us the simile for um, progress in in the practice, like uh, the yeah, the carpenter who uses his hammer every day, and. Um, day after day over a very long time over over years there there comes a day when uh, finally his uh, his his hands his hand has worn the um, the handle of the hammer away um, so it's this um, yeah this idea that, that the practice is more like a wearing away of our of our defilements and our bad habits um, and yet day to day we might not really see um, yeah, much changing, but if we really apply ourselves uh, to the practice for for years, then um, we'll definitely uh, start to see big changes uh, in the in the way that the carpenter one day just realizes that uh, you know his, his, the handle of his his hammer has been completely worn away. Um, so just to offer yeah encouragement for for everyone and myself included that. Um, yeah, I know, like, especially when you first ordain or, or you first come to the monastery, it can seem like kind of a never-ending um, stretch of, of suffering. It seems like nothing is, is changing, but, um, yeah, the, the Buddha has, has assured us that if we really do apply ourselves to these teachings for, for a long period of time, then um, we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're guaranteed to see results in the end. So I'll offer this for reflection today.